611 right now. Well, the Low Country is known for having great restaurants. There are so many, it is difficult to try them all. No doubt about it. The Low Country's morning meteorologist doing the dirty work for us. <laughs> Tough job he's got going Tough to all job. these restaurants. Tough job. Trying their cool stuff. This is a neat one. It's at Five Church. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. It's called their 60 Second Steak. Here at Five Church in downtown Charleston on Market Street, you're looking for a little bit of a different take on a steak. We've got that for you today. Here with Chef Adam Hodgson today, who's going to be working the iron skillet. You know that's a favorite of mine. This is called your 60 second steak. Show us what you got. So, first, we start with the prime New York strip. We're going to pepper it first, then we'll hit it with some salt. We'll put this on a medium high because the steak, ironically, takes about 15 to 16 minutes. It's called the 60 second because it has the appearance that it's only cooked for one minute. Essentially what you're doing is you're cooking this from the bottom up, right? Absolutely. It's going to look like an inside out medium rare. So the steak is something that you keep on the menu year round, but it can be a little different as the season changes because you guys like to use the local farm. So Absolutely. you're going to do a vegetable mix, which is composed of purple carrots, yellow carrots, orange carrots, squash and zucchini. We want our vegetables to be nice and flavorful. And look at that beautiful crust. All right, so we're going to pull it off the rest. So the steak's rested, it's now time to plate it. Cut it just like so. Check that out. Medium rare, inside out. We go from nice crust yeah. all the way up to a rare. So we start with a nice carrot puree, put our steak right in the center, full vegetables. And what is this sauce? Brandy cherry dunny. We start with the uh, brandy cherries. It becomes thick like this. We leave the cherries in there for flavor. Put that right on the top. We'll take our palm pie, which is an angel hair. Uh, potato right on top for some crunch. Finish it with a little bit of flake salt for a little bit of uh, color and garnish. Put a little bit of chive on there. That's perfect. Let's go try it. Come on. <laughs> I'll let you do the honor. There is only we, so we will see you at Five Church. <laughs> that looks delicious. Yeah. I want the, the angel hair potato. One of the coolest things that I've ever seen. I, you know, and it's so simple. Because you sit there all the time at home. You're want, going, all right, is it medium? Is it medium rare? What, what, what temperature I'm dying is to ask this? him if it was a mistake. Like he just happened to one yeah, day I leave don't it know. on the I don't know. grill too long. I have no idea. But, I mean, they flip, you, you just put it on the pan, and you watch it cook. And, and he says the key is that when you're looking at a medium rare, because that's what you typically want right there on top, just take your hand, flip it over, and if the top of the steak feels warm to touch, as soon as you touch it, it feels warm, it's done. Pull it off, let it rest, and it keeps cooking while it's yeah. resting, of course, and it's all good to go. I'm going to tell you, it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I mean, the so way that was sliced down. Mm. Like we could do that at home with the, the steak portion, but. All the other stuff you can't, but, but <laughs> it, it, it's one of those fail. things where I can tell you right now, if you want to, if you want to really impress a crowd, do a steak, steak like that at yeah. home. I'd have to get mine cooked a little longer though. Well, and, and you can't, and he yeah. said yeah. you can. Yeah. But, but just remember the bottom of it though is going to be really, really well done. If you get the top of that steak a little bit of a, of a lighter pink yeah. as opposed to the medium mm -hmm. rare. That's and so it's cool Five though. Church? It's called Five Church. It's right there downtown. What did that Charles. used to be? It used to be Mad River. Mad River. Back in the day. Yeah. You, know, you know it well, Brad Franco. No. I never no. Know. We never <laughs> Brad, 